Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, so this past weekend we had three GCW shows, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We had Lights Out on Friday, Head Em Up on Saturday, and on Sunday, the 16th from Mesa, Arizona, the Now Theater, we had GCW I Can't Feel My Face 2024 edition. Um, overall, good show, solid. Um, we did keep a couple storylines going moving forward. We had some really good matches. Um, this again, just kind of like, like I said with Lights Out, this was one of those just straight down the fairway shows. Nothing over the top, but nothing just that was like ugh, unwatchable. Um, so the first match we had Billy Starks taking on Hunter Drake. A great back and forth match. Billy Starks, Ring of Honor, television, women's television champion. Uh, Hunter Drake, he's a uh, <clears throat> wrestler from New South a lot. Um, great eight minutes and 42 second match. Billy Starks able to pull out the victory. I give it three and a quarter. Nice little match. Uh, next up we had Man Like Dereese coming off of his proposal to Viva Van. Or he presented her with a ring, asked her a question, she said yes, but we don't know what all that means, but hopefully we'll find out. Taking on Jack Cartwheel, two kind of the similar styles that kind of Lucha Libre, kind of high flying little dives, a um, little bit more higher, higher energy, higher high action um, than a lot of other wrestlers will take, but a man like Dereese part of the 0121 from the UK tag team over there in Rev Pro. Um, this was a energetic um, match of two guys who take chances. <laughs> That's literally what it was. 11 and a half minutes of that. Um, man like Dereese was able to get the victory on Jack Cartwheel. We do need a cartwheel counter in Jack Cartwheel matches so we know how exactly how many cartwheels he does. He did like two coming out. He did several match. Um, the high risk maneuvers these both these guys make. You can crash and burn at any moment. Man like Therese did not. Three and a half star match gets the victory there. We had a eight man tag match. We had Brick Shithouse Tun. Yes, that's the name of the team. Brick Shithouse Toon. Brendan Toon, Jordan Cruz, Rob Shit, and Sam Stackhouse. A whole big old pile of shit here going up against young dumb garbage daddies yeah the young young dumb garbage daddies uh like price pretty and prodigy cole radrick the ready daddy and then jordan oliver um great eight-man tag match kind of the tale of two styles here you had the rough and tough brick shithouse uh, tune going up against young dumb garbage daddies more that high energy more that take a chance more that uh, kind of dives and everything they're able to get the victory over the tough big strong guys 10 minutes 52 seconds and they're giving this match a three star a guy that you need to keep an eye on in this sport in, the, in this sport of professional wrestling is Zillify too um, he's got the look of his cousins, the Usos, Jacob Fatu, but he, I think he actually might be the best wrestler of all of them. He could literally, I think at this point in time, he, he could probably give Jacob Fatu a run for it. That's how talented this guy is. He's lost in 20 matches in his pro wrestling career. Um, he's here in GCW. Thankfully, Brett Lardy was able to get, have him wrestle all these startup matches. So when he's big and famous and running the bloodline someday we all can go you know I remember when Zellify 2 was in GCW he was taking on one called Manders here you know what Manders to me is a modern day Bradshaw this is one of those guys kind of like with Brian Keith in AEW I think if you've got one Manders on that big stage in a storyline like Brian Keith is with Chris Jericho, I think people would latch on the Manders and he could be something big along in the professional wrestling world. I think I know he's big on the indies, but I'm talking the world of professional wrestling. But um, great match for these two. 10 minutes and 34 seconds. Zillify 2 getting into the victory there. I end up giving it a three and a quarter. Megan Bain taking on Kylie Ray. Once again, Megan Bain 
just like with Zelfa 2, the more she wrestles, the more she had a tour of Japan, the more she does this stuff, the better she's getting. The sky is the limit on her ability. Um, Kylie Ray, we kind of know what she is at this point. Good, steady, solid, professional wrestler. Megan Bain getting the victory over Kylie Ray. I give it two and a half. Uh, next up, we had a six-person tag match. We had Sandra Moon teaming up with Los Macisos, Cicope, and Medio Extremo, taking on Thrussy, Alley Catch, Dark Sheik, and Epi. Just a crazy, fun, energetic six-way tag, six, six tag match. Uh, Thrussy getting the victory there. I ended up giving it three star. We had... I didn't care for it as much. But it was okay. Sam Stackhouse versus Frigo Del Sol. Just when you have a guy the size of Frigo Del Sol taking on a guy the size of Sam Stackhouse, you kind of know immediately this is not real. You kind of look at it and go, yeah, this is not going to be what I, you know, it's not going to be a good match. Uh, it was okay. I give it two and a half star, nine minutes. Um, but at the very end, Fergal Soul was able to beat Sam Stackhouse. Um, Bruska Jimmy comes out, cutting a promo. Or sorry, Manger comes out, cutting a promo with Janela. Bruska Jimmy comes out, ends up attacking Joe with Janela. And then you had the match with Joey Janelle and Bruska Jimmy, the main event. You had these two just, I mean, door bridges and chair galore. Um, you had Janela during the promo with Mancer, kind of calling Mancer out, saying he needs a title shot, blah, 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 talking about Blake Christian and stuff. You end up having Janela getting the victory over Bruska Jimmy, and then Mancer whacking J uh, Joe Janela with a chair, taking him down. So you had that kind of feuding. Um, you got the Blake Christian thing. According to Dave Frazak, uh, the general manager of GCW, Matt Cardona, says there is not two champions because Blake Christian showed up with the title belt as well. There is only one champion, and it is Mancer. My guess is, kind of like we've seen in other promotions, where there's two different be two belts. You're going to have a ladder match probably with both belts up there, and you're going to have one of them climb. What I would say is, like I've said this before, um, we need to have Janela, Mance Warner, Blake Christian, Effie, four-way ladder match for the tackles. And let's go. Um, but this match between J uh, Joe Janela and Bruski Jimmy, I ended up giving it three and a half. So we had a couple matches, three and a half, Man Like Reese, Jack Hartwheel, and then Joe Janela and Bruski Jimmy. Two three and a half star matches on the surface, but the way they got to be in a three and a half star match, completely different. You have the high flying, the lucha libre style, the you know take a chance dives versus just the hardcore, the ladder, the chairs, and the doors. Um, so kind of the tale of two two fights there. Um, but overall, GCW, I can't feel my face was a pretty good show. Um, as always, Robert Sports Show, from the independent scene to the main event of WrestleMania. Um, don't just have a great night. Have a spiffy night. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader. Sports Show content.